Private American companies are competing to become leaders in the new space race and in the process phase out our reliance on Russian parts. One of those companies is Blue Origin. Morgan Brennan is back with us tonight filing this report from Colorado Springs. Meet Blue Origin's new rocket engine, the BE-4. It represents a crucial step toward intergalactic dominance, but it's also a matter of national security. I think a lot of Americans don't realize that some of the most sensitive security and military missions right now in terms of space are being powered by Russian-made rockets. Yeah. So this actually represents really kind of a shift in terms of American manufacturing. What's the opportunity there? The opportunity is to, to replace those rockets and get onto American rockets flying American astronauts and American payloads. And so it's exciting to actually do that. This is actually something that we developed on our own dollars. Um, so we're excited about the commercial opportunities that that's going to give us. Bob Smith is CEO of Blue Origin, a space startup created by Amazon's Jeff Bezos. At the Space Symposium in Colorado Springs, Smith showed off the new technology in his first on-camera interview since taking the helm last year. We've spent so much time in developing this, over seven years developing this engine, to make it reusable. This engine will actually perform 100 starts, meaning 100 full missions that we'd actually be able to go do. The company developed the engine for its own rockets, which are expected to begin launching satellites and other payloads into orbit as soon as 2020. But the company also hopes to sell them to United Launch Alliance, or ULA, the industry consortium owned by Boeing and Lockheed Martin. Lift off. ULA currently relies on Russian engines. Lawmakers want those phased out. So ULA is developing its own new rocket. We're going to fly Vulcan in the middle of 2020. We're so excited about that. We'll begin introducing reusability elements just a couple, two, three years later and then whole new technologies in an advanced upper stage. Blue Origin is competing against Aerojet Rocketdyne to build the engine for the Vulcan, a contract it's expected to win when a decision is announced, quote, soon. Smith says it would mean a new revenue stream and fit into a broader strategy taken from the Amazon playbook. Amazon goes and builds capabilities, builds capabilities, gains some customer base, then continues to build on that. We're going to do the same kind of that, that strategy of building capability after capability and making sure that we get customer adoption as we go along. Blue Origin is already courting customers for its own rocket, and its space tourism ambitions, plans to carry paying passengers past the edge of space, could take flight as soon as this year. It all speaks to the unprecedented role the private sector is playing in this new space race as billionaire visions now become reality. Well, I think we'll have, obviously, flying space tourists. We'll be flying suborbital payloads as well. We'll be, I think, the preeminent engine provider in the country. And then we'll also have our new Glenn vehicle that we'll be using not only for civil and commercial, but also for NASA security payloads as well. So I think at that point, we will be in very much the position that we want to be as we stand today. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Morgan Brennan in Colorado Springs.